Hey folks, here's a super fast audio visualizer tutorial for you. In After Effects, drop your audio file into your work area. Make a new solid like this and don't worry about what color you choose. Go to Effects, Generate, Audio Spectrum. Go up here to this drop down window and select the name of the audio file that you just dropped. And from there, you can adjust it however you want. You can adjust the number of bands here so that you can crank it down for a more minimalist look, or you can crank it way up. The higher it is, the more it'll look like one cohesive object instead of a bunch of little lines. You can set the colors to whatever you'd like too. This one basically functions as your fill, and this one is your stroke. You can also adjust the hue with this and even use keyframes to give it a cool rainbow effect like this. All you have to do is set a keyframe at the beginning, move to the end, and drag this slider out. The farther you go, the faster it'll change. Down here is where you can also adjust it to a different audio display, like if you wanted it to be made out of dots or just be one big line like this. Now if you wanted to get a circular one like in the beginning of the video, all you need to do is add one other effect. Go to Effect, Distort, Polar Coordinates. Set the type of conversion to rect to polar and then crank the interpolation all the way to 100. If you don't want it to move on both sides of the circle, all you have to do is go back to your spectrum settings and change the side options from A and B to just one of them. A if you want inside and B if you want outside. To get rid of this gap up here, go up to the start point and set the x-axis to zero and then set the x-axis for the end point to whatever the width is for your shape. Or honestly, if you don't want to do the math, just keep adjusting it until the lines line up like this. And from here on, it's up to you. Mess around with it and try adding some other effects to make it yours. A good starter is just a classic glow. Honestly, just dropping it in and not even touching the settings still looks great, but really fiddling with it can make it pop exactly how you want it. Or you could try something like duplicating it and overlapping different audio displays over one another. Seriously, these things are so much fun to play with, so get started today and let us know how it goes. If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our links below to get access to our Motion Duck extension, which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project.